Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to the channel of Chilled Relax Plan Content, where we just try to grow the plants how we want them to grow. It doesn't always work, but we try. So if that's something you can relate to, hit the subscribe button. Let's be plant friends. So today, I'm going to be repotting a bunch of stuff. Um, I rearranged my plant room again. Uh, the majority of my plants are now in the plant room. Uh, that will be a plant tour for another day, um, but... I have a bunch of plants that I bought probably like a month ago at this point. They're mostly succulents and um, we're just going to be potting those up. So I'm going to change the angle of the camera so that you can see the plants closer and more clearly and we're just going to repot some plants. So uh, yeah. All right. So first things first, this is just, this is not what this was. This is my lace flower vine and uh she's gone we went on vacation and i forgot to water her and she dried up so she's done but we're not gonna just leave an empty pot because why would we do that so what i have is a bunch of mother of millions they're like growing all over the place so i just like cut them out of like the other plants that they're just randomly growing in and i'm gonna make a little dedicated pot of it so what I'm going to do, I have like this little rando one that's been growing for all of the summer. Actually, this one was growing outside. And as it grows, it like loses its bottom leaves. So, you know, that's just what it does. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rip off the little baby leaflets that they grow and throw them in there. Sprinkle them around, see what grows. And that's all I'm doing for this plant. Um, I will cut it and I'll like stick them in there, the stem, but I don't know if they're going to actually grow like that. Um, but yeah, the, this is a plant that <laughs> will definitely spread throughout your collection. I find little mother of million plants in like all of my plants. It's, uh, it's kind of funny. So maybe I'll just pull this out. Yeah, so we could just pull this out. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this. It's cute though. Just dig it in there a little bit and just lay it in there. And that's it. That's all I'm going to do for that one, for this piece. I have some others. These are what have been growing in other plants. So again, I'm just going to be pulling off the tops. I'm not going to go too crazy with like these plants because they're everywhere. They grow real easy. And uh, I think I am going to try to see if it'll root from the stem. If anybody has propagated these guys from, like, stems, let me know in the comments below if if it was successful for you. Or if, like, it, you should just start off with the little leaflets because these guys don't, don't last or they don't propagate well. And again, I'm just doing the same with all of these. Just pulling off all the little babies and shoving the the stem in somewhere. Mm -hmm. I got some babies that fell on the table. Sprinkle those in. And then one more little leaf cluster. All right, so this is what I've got going on. I got this really big, tall, crazy looking one in there. And then I just stuck everything in there and we'll see how it goes. Oh, we got some more over here. I'm sure even if all of the, the stems that I put in here die, all of those little babies will probably all sprout and take off and be, it'll be a full plant again in no time. So that's the first one we did or we're doing today. The next one is gonna be a little aloe bowl. So I have this like climbing aloe. I don't know the name of it. Maybe you do, but it started putting out roots. It had lost a bunch of leaves here and then it started putting out roots. So then I just like cut it and I let it callus over. And we're gonna put that with a couple of other little aloes that I picked up. Uh, I gotta get them first, hold on. All right, so I have them now. I don't know the name of this one, so if you guys know, 
the name of this like aloe? Let me know in the comments below. I have this one. This one is called Aloe Hybrid Delta Lights. This is what this one looks like. I have this one. It just says assorted succulent. It did have a flower stem that had put out a flower up here, but lower on the, the stem, it put this guy out. And I don't know if that's, that's gotta be a flower, right? That's not like another plant, is it? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> I have a lot of questions, somebody help me. I have this one. This one is called Karak, mm, crack, Krakatoa, Krakatoa? <laughs> Aloe Krakatoa. All right, another assorted succulent. Don't know the name of it, but it's pretty. I have another one. This one, it says, it says white planter star aloe. I don't know if that's accurate. The edges, the little like bumps on the edges are like a light pink. And I guess the, the bumps on the inside when the, the little leaves are new are pink and then they fade to like a green. But this is what I got. And then I have this little pot of a Haworthia that broke. <laughs> Cats knocked it over so this pot is done. Um, and we're gonna just put it in here. I lost the piece to this. It like shattered. I couldn't, I couldn't like glue it back. So we're gonna have to part ways with this pot, but that's okay. All right, so I think what I wanna do is I wanna have this one like in the middle because it's so large. Um, this is like the little pot from that. I get to like reuse it now. Very cute. So, I don't know, should I have this big one in like the back of it? I don't know where is it better. I maybe, maybe, maybe. Hmm. Hmm. All right. So you can come out for now. Let's first put some soil in here. So this is a terracotta like bowl pot type thing. It doesn't have drainage, but because it's terracotta, I think it'll be all right. I have other succulents, other aloes in a terracotta, like non-draining pot and they do fine. So I do in this soil mix, I do have sand and charcoal like added in. So to give it a little bit more aeration, hopefully not rotting anything. All right, so these are gonna be in here, just like that, maybe like, that kind of all right this guy's also kind of tall i've had these out <laughs> i bought these a couple of months ago i want to say like two or three months ago so they've just been growing <laughs> they they've they're surviving they look great but uh they're not as small as when i first got them and was planning on potting them all together so we might have to like separate them somehow. All right, we're gonna put this guy in here, Krakatoa. I think I'm just gonna shove them in and just see where it goes. Another aloe right here. Maybe that's what I'm gonna put in for these ones. And then these guys I think are, I don't know if they're aloes or herworthias. Do you guys, is this a Haworthia or is it an aloe? Do you know? I don't know. So we'll leave these three out for now and we'll just keep it, keep the pot looking like this. Sounds good? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> I think it looks good. So that's what we're gonna go with. I have another pot I could put the other Haworthias in. So let's just start back filling her up. And some of the lower leaves on these guys, if we have to end up burying them, they're probably going to rot off and die, but we're just going to, we're going to let that happen. It's all right. I used to be really bad at keeping aloes. Um, 
Like I would kill them within like two weeks. And I, I now know that I was overwatering them. <laughs> so these really like, I think if you are having difficulty with aloe, I highly su suggest, I highly suggest a terracotta pot because it just, it helps get the moisture away from the roots faster. So you don't rot your plant. And uh, yeah, and so far, so far it's worked for me, so. I'm making a mess, guys, I'm making a mess. A huge mess. I don't even know if you can see the mess I'm making. This is this is intense. Can you see what I'm doing? I don't know. There you go. That's a little bit better. All right. So uh, this is what's all gonna fit in this bowl for now. Shake it up real good and try to. Try to just grow it. I think that looks cute. What do you think? I think that looks really good. I'm not gonna remember the names of any of the aloes, so good thing I'm recording this. <laughs> All right, so we got one done. Put you down here. And I have this little pot. And I think we could fit these three in here, I think. Hmm. I might have to take off some of the soil for this. I'll keep those. Yeah, this is more of like a like a peat mossy type of substrate. Oof. You hear that cracking? Oh, I hate to do it, but I would like to get some of this off. Perlite. I got scared for a second. I thought it was root mealies or something like what the? But it's not. All right, so we're gonna keep it like that. I think that's enough roots. Okay, let's dump this. All right, that's that one. Then we got this guy. Same situation. We can just pull off some of his soil. His roots are more more robust. Yeah. So how can you tell, this is another question for planting people, how, what is the difference, how can you tell like just by looking at it, like the difference between a Haworthia and an aloe? Because they, I think they look different. Like if I had to guess, I think this is a Haworthia, but it could also be an aloe. I have no idea. I think this is also a Haworthia. So maybe it's like the growth pattern? I don't know, somebody tell me. <laughs> I need to freshen up on my botany. I took a, bot a plants and people course like, I don't know, 10 years ago. And uh, it was a lot of fun. I, was, I wanted to take the botany course, but it wasn't offered in like the time frame that I needed to be t uh, offered in in order to take it and graduate and all that. So I, now that I'm like done with school for now anyway, I think about like just taking like fun classes, <laughs> you know, like a botany class or an art class, but I haven't, haven't pulled the trigger on it yet, but I think about it. Yeah. Would you guys want to? like take a botany class with me like we could do like homework together what do you guys what do you guys think if I decided to take a class all right so this is what the roots look like on this I'm gonna dump this okay all right so I have like two little pieces of bark 
just to help cover up those big holes. I'm gonna put a little bit of dirt, a little bit of dirt at the bottom. Place these guys in here. Try to angle them accordingly. And then maybe squeeze this guy in here. How's that look? I think that looks cute. This is it. This is what we're doing. What time of the day do you guys like to repot your plants? Right now for me, it's late. It's like nine o'clock at night on a Saturday. This is what I do now. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm past the age of my partying. I'd rather just stay at home, hang out with my plants, doing some planty chores. So what time do you guys like to repot your plants. Are you guys more morning potters, afternoon potters, late night potters? All right, I think, I think that's good. All right, so that is all potted up. That's cute. I like that. All right, I'm back. I did a little bit of cleaning up. We got a tray to dump soil in. So this is gonna go into this pot. It's very cute. It's handmade. I bought it off Etsy. I made a video about this actually like a year, two years ago. So this is the Jade Plant Golem, Crassula ovata. Oh, it's considered to be a monstrose form of jade. They have white star shaped flowers in winter. Okay. It needs well draining soil, water thoroughly when the soil is dry. It looks best with regular watering in hotter months. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes the information they give you on these are uh, just funny. All right, so this again is a peat moss mixture. So we're gonna be taking that off. This stuff is good for really hot areas, but I, where I live, it gets cold in the winter and, um, it's just, it's not good for, for any plants, any of the plants actually, maybe a Fetonia cause, uh, you can kind of keep this wet longer. Now I don't see a lot of roots along the sides of this. So I'm real, I feel like there's roots in there and I'm like ripping them and I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared I'm breaking this plant. All right. So I think this is a root. Oh, we're just going to pull them apart because if I leave too much of this peat moss on here, it will rot. And then what good is the plant to me? <laughs> what am I doing all this work if it's just going to rot? So yeah, that, I guess I'll just leave it like that. Yeah, the roots are like really fine. So I don't want to really mess with it too much. Just try to get as much of the stuff off as possible. <clears throat> all right so we got all that off this is what the roots look like i also had two little leaflets like that fall, that had fallen off and I just threw on top and they're growing little roots. So that's cool. All right. Put some soil in it. And we're just gonna lay them around, I think.
I'm going to take the little leaves and just stick them in the middle. See what happens. Okay. All right. That's all done. I'm excited to see this one grow. I think these are like the little ogre fingers or something. Those the little nicknames, I think. Let's dump this. All right, the next plants. This is um, a replacement plant for me. So this is the Corpus Curlata Lamanii. I'll just let you read that. Yeah, so uh, yeah. It's called the South African Ice Plant with a distinctive form. It is angular, three-sided, flat leaf fat leaves are extremely fleshy with a smooth blue-green skin. They have a yellow flower about one and a half inches in the summer. And again, they like to dry out, but also be watered regularly. So, all right. <clears throat> this soil I think is okay. Oh, well, maybe, I don't know. There's like some little bit of mold on the top of the soil. So I'm just gonna take the top off, I think. <clears throat> We want to just open it up. Yeah, this is more soily than uh, perlite. These guys are really wet. I did water these a couple days ago, so I guess they're just a little wet still. There. Oof, there's like a lot of water in this. Oops. I'm just going to open it and flush it out. Okay. Ooh, now I'm, I'm all muddy. for that one. All right, so this is what this one's looking like. Very cute, very cute. I love this plant. I love this little succulent. I think it's, it's the bee's knees, baby. <laughs> All right, the next plant is gonna go in this little pot. And I have two of them. They're Crassula ogre ears. And this is, whoop. What it looks like it's a little wrinkly. Like I said, I had to water them. Um, so these are drought tolerant when established. It's sil similar to golem with oversized tubular leaves. Okay, so these are like the cousins to the plant we just potted up a little while ago. All right. All right we got some soil. Again, I'm just gonna pull them out. This is like peaty moss. So we're gonna try to take some of this off. So I've definitely been getting into succulents like a lot more, like I'm on like a succulent kick. And I think part of that reason is because once they get established in their pot, they're, they're real easy to keep alive once they're established. Like you can ignore them for months <laughs> and they live kind of like these guys. So I think that's like a big plus for me, why I really like them. I also think that the fact that they stay small is really great. I think I'm running into a little bit of a, a plant issue kind of with a lot of my philodendrons are getting really big 
and I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> Some of them are just wild. Um, one was like growing onto my wall. I pulled it off and all of that, but I, I don't know. I'm not big on cutting my plants. I don't really like to do that. And uh, succulents just take so long to grow anyway, especially, you know, for me anyway, um, that they just, that and cactus, they, they're kind of like, almost like preferred a little bit. But I still love my philodendrons. I still love my Hoya. My Hoya are getting really big. I need to cut them, but I just don't want to. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, we're gonna stuff these guys in along the edges and then put the loose leaves that I have um, in the middle. And some of these also have little roots. Focus please. Thank you. So shove them in the middle. This is what we got. Cute. All right, so I have this guy. I only bought one of him. This is a Chrysula species assorted. So it's a large genus of succulent plant. Um, it doesn't give any actual specific information on it. It looks like kind of, it kind of looks like the plant that I have with the purple edges. It's like a, I don't know what it's called, chalk sticks maybe? No, it's not a chalk stick. I, I killed my chalk stick succulent. I really like that that succulent. Hopefully I can find it again, but uh, it kind of looks like another plant that I have, and uh, but a non-variegated one, I guess, or a non-silvery one, I don't know. But I only got one of it. I think I'm gonna pot it up in here. There's no drainage, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna see what happens with this guy. So I don't know. It's a thinner leaf succulent, so you know, it's a little bit of, a little bit of a struggle, a challenge. But sometimes, you know, it works out. All right, just an up close view of what they look like, how they grow in. If you know what the name of it is, let me know. All right, let's see how this one grows in here. It's a cute little bird though. All right, the next plant is gonna be, oop, this guy, this nicely rooted uh, climbing aloe. Uh, aloe solaris, aloe solaris. Ciliaris. So we're going to be putting them in this cute pot. Hopefully it's not too big of a jump. Um, and I'm not going to mess with these roots because they're, they're fine. <laughs> I, I think I'll do more damage if I break apart this root, root uh, ball than anything else. easy. Cute little aloe. I'm excited. Excited to see grow. Alrighty guys, so that's gonna be it for tonight. Uh, I'm tired now. <laughs> that ta It takes so much longer to record a repotting uh, than just repotting, but it, it is what it is. I get to hang out with you guys, so yeah. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, tell your friends uh, about, you know, this crazy crazy plant lady Kelly. And uh, until next time, relax, plants. Peace out.